get some coffee because we have a long morning ahead I have my 5 30 a.m. client 6 a.m. client 7 30 a.m. client and and then I have my 9 a.m. class so I might pack up a, a snack because I won't be back till like 10 a.m. so yeah see you guys later it's currently 4 57 I have my first client at 5 30 <laughs> get like a protein snack what do you guys think? I ended up getting this which is 170 calories it showed me up till I get back home and eat some breakfast <laughs> Lifesaver. If you're cutting, you should be using Pam, not oils or butter. All you need is egg whites, Pam, and low calorie bread, spinach, some straws. I'm gonna put our bread in the toaster. I really don't like this bread, but it's only 35 calories a slice. So, does the job. Seven fluid ounces, I think it's 20 grams of protein. So we're gonna go with that. And here, spinach bread. You just flop it over. Um, this one has five grams of protein per slice and then 25 calories each slice. So we're gonna do three of these and I like to add kimchi because it's good for your gut it's um, it's a really good probiotic so you know we want a healthy gut we Dang. <laughs> I, I'm gonna check the calories on the egg whites and then I'll let you guys know exactly how many calories and protein there is in this so there's 369 calories and 37 grams of protein in this. If you guys want to compare my breakfast to my boyfriend's breakfast, this is around 700 calories and 50 grams of protein. But look at that beautiful pancake I just made. This is a man's breakfast. <laughs> so I'm gonna refill these really quick and then we'll head home to cook some lunch it's currently 11 27 I had my breakfast around 7 15 so I'm gonna start making my lunch for my lunch sticking to the basics we're just gonna have a cup of black beans some chicken breast, spinach, and carrots. My four ounces of chicken. Maybe some salt, a little bit of salt. And then some chili powder. Uh, my boyfriend's chicken, I usually, I cook it separately because his, since he's not really cutting or he's just maintaining, um, I cook his with coconut oil to add more fat to his chicken. So I'm gonna do this much. 
cover habanero sauce, zero calories. But spices are actually really good when you're cutting because they increase your metabolism and they decrease your appetite. So. And then honestly, the star of the show, Dr. Pips. Hey guys, so I just woke up from a nap, but this is my last meal before I go train today at four. It's currently 3.19. So I'm just gonna take this down and then go for a light walk and then go train. It's um, tuna, light mayo, and rice. Yep. Hey guys, so before my training session, we went out to Stripes to go get an energy drink. I usually alternate between energy drinks and pre-workout, but today we feel like energy drink would hit. <laughs> and one of the toughest decisions I have to make daily is not what I wear or what I have to eat. It's what energy drink I'm going to decide to get that day. And here we were just looking at the snack options because Ricky wanted to get, get a snack. And yeah, we were just looking around. It's crazy how many snack options there are. It's crazy. All the temptation we have to endure. But we got to stay strong, fam. We got goals to reach. <laughs> Every Tuesdays and Thursdays is boxing skill work. And on this day, I had to work footwork. Um, I worked uh, footwork drills with the bumper plate I had to move in and out um, angle to to the side use my back foot my front foot forward and back um, and then also adding some combinations in there staying light on my feet keeping my hands my elbows tight to my sides um, yeah a lot of thinking has to go into these skill works and it's actually pretty interesting when you get to learn the technique behind boxing it's not just throwing punches and receiving them there's a lot that goes behind them and um, you can hear my coach in the background like yelling some cues at me After all the boxing skill work and conditioning, I finished off with abs. I did 12 minutes of ab conditioning, just alternating between different exercises until the time was up. So there 
you have it guys that was a full day of training eating uh, coaching you know personal training and i finished my day with a two mile walk um, we always go out for walks when we have time available before our training we go for a mile walk after our training we try to go for another walk if we have time if you are focused on weight loss i recommend you guys go for a walk even if it's just 30 minutes to an hour um, it really does help and it can make all the difference in your weight loss journey so keep that in mind uh, focus on your training be mindful of everything that you do because every day counts when you're trying to lose weight and yes i wish you guys all the best in your weight loss journey if you're trying to lose weight as well um, me at the moment that's what i'm trying to aim for um, i've had bulking faces but you know we're not there right now which we will be in the future so you guys will see me through my bulking phases my cutting faces and all of the faces in between so yeah and so that's the end of the video guys i'm gonna leave you guys some behind the scenes of my latest photo shoot that i had with my friend christina um this is us trying to practice poses before we go and take them outside um it's always so fun to shoot especially because of all the different faces that i have in fitness which is you know fat loss i'm cutting sometimes i'm bulking sometimes but we see my body transform throughout those faces so yeah i'm just leaving you guys some behind the scenes um thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys like the video please like subscribe comment and i'll see you guys next time thank you guys all for your support i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys on the next video Bye bye Thank you.